What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Monday, April 24th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a seven game MLB slate tonight. So let's take a look at the pitcher position. Here's a value play. I like Matthew Boyd. He's got a nice pitching advantage here over a low salary batting team, the Milwaukee Brewers. Matthew Boyd, he pitches his worst ball versus switch hitters, not facing any switch hitters here tonight, only giving up a .683 OPS versus righties, facing six righties. But I like this pick because the Brewers have only hit five of his last 28 pitches to 179 batting average. I also like this pick because he's only 7,000 FanDuel salary, 400 less on DraftKings, averaging 18 fantasy points per game on the season. And he scored 18, 20, and 16 fantasy points in the last three games. He has an ERA of 4.5 but I do think he could have a somewhat of a breakout game this season at a low price point, and I'm guessing somewhat low ownership. So I like Matthew Boyd here versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Okay, let's take a look at the catcher first base position. I like Yasmani Grandal with an 80% batting advantage over Chris Bassett. Yasmani Grandal batting 67% better versus righty batters. And Chris Bassett is pitching a one OPS versus switch hitters. So Yasmani Grandal batting a .900 OPS versus righties. So the splits are fantastic. Now Yasmani Grandal is 0 for 3 here versus Bassett. But he's only 2,600 FanDuel salary. He's 900 more on DraftKings, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season. Scored 22 and 18 fantasy points in his last two games. Scored fantasy points in all five of his last games. Has a batting average of 281. So I like Yasmani Grandal here versus Chris Bassett. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. I like Jorge Polanco. He's got a 55% batting advantage here over a low salary pitcher, John Brito, or Johnny Brito. So Johnny Brito giving up a .900 OPS versus switch hitters. No at-bats versus Brito yet. Jorge Polanco only 2,600 FanDuel salary. 1,300 more on DraftKings. He's averaging 13 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 28 fantasy points last game. Has a batting average of 385. So I like Jorge Polanco as a value play here versus Johnny Brito. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. Another value play that I like here is Matt Duffy. He's only 2,500 FanDuel salary, 300 more on DraftKings. He's facing a low salary pitcher, Tommy Henry, and Matt Duffy is batting 23% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .928 OPS versus lefties. So I like Matt Duffy 
as a value play. In a versatile play, you can play him at catcher, first, second, and third base on FanDuel. So I think it makes him a pretty good pick. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 9.5 runs scored in this game. Facing a new pitcher, low salary pitcher. So I like Matt Duffy here versus Tommy Henry. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the shortstop position. Another player that I like versus Tommy Henry is Billy Witt, or Bobby Witt Jr., who's batting 26% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .979 OPS versus lefties. He's 3,300 FanDuel salary, 1,800 more on DraftKings, averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season, has a batting average of 256. So I like Bobby Witt Jr. here versus Tommy Henry. Okay, let's take a look at the outfield position. You got some home run hitters on the slate. Ronald Acuna Jr. in a good spot versus Edward Cabrera. Mike Trout in a good spot versus Ken Waldachuk. Hunter Renfro in a fantastic spot versus Ken Waldachuk. So all three of those guys, home run hitters on this slate. So uh, I think I gave you a lot of value in this video, or I did give you a lot of value in this video, so you can fit uh, probably two out of these three home run hitters in your lineup. So again, I like Ronald Acuna Jr., Mike Trout, and Hunter Renfro. And if you want to stack the Los Angeles Angels here versus Ken Waldachuk, I think that's a pretty good idea. Vegas thinks there's going to be 10 runs scored in this game. That's their over-under, so a high-scoring game. And both Mike Trout and Hunter Renfro uh, have been playing very well this season, scoring, putting up big numbers with great splits. So I like Mike Trout and Hunter Renfro if you're looking to stack a team here. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this MLB slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.